Today we're gonna be netting as many fish as possible for the fan favorite Tiny Tim, the creepy angler fish that we netted up the other day to put into my tank. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's a great video, I recommend go watching it. But I netted the coolest thing in the world. I was just scooping around some sargassum randomly. I wasn't even targeting this fish during that day and we caught ourselves a baby angler fish, a baby sargassum frogfish. Now that little frogfish is an absolute beast. He's a menace to society. I've already caught him eating one time with the minnows that we netted in the original video. I caught him eating one of those fish that we put in for him, but he is crazy. There's a big backstory of where he is, how he got there and all that that I'll explain in this video. And then we need to net a bunch of fish to put in that tank and hopefully we can capture him on camera eating for the very first time. It is a very nasty day out today here in Florida. I actually just got back doing a huge two and a half hour live stream with Fish Guy Jack on the Fish Guy's main channel. If you were there, I was glad to see you there. If you missed it, stay tuned on the main channel for more live streams. We're gonna do it once a week, big, nice long live stream, and it's gonna be a ton of fun. We actually took the boat out. We uh, went offshore with some live goggle eye, did a whole two and a half hour fishing trip with you guys. We didn't catch any giant monster kingfish or wahoo, which is what we were going for, but we did catch this shark right here. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. We caught a little baby shark on a goggle eye, a live goggle eye, down deep. It was too small to uh, break the downrigger in the back where we were fishing off of, and we didn't even know until we reeled it in, we caught this little cool shark. We were freaking out during the live stream. We were saying, wow, if we would have had the pond up and running, we totally would have kept that little baby shark. Oh! Dude, that's a pond shark, That bro. is literally a pond that shark. That would have been a sick pond shark. If we had the pond set up, dude. Look at that net. Look at those spots. So freaking cool. So if you guys think we should catch a shark for uh, like shark that size once we set up the ponds, drop a like down below. Hit that like button if you guys think we should do that because I think it would be a great idea. Once we set the ponds up, go catch a little baby shark like we did in the live stream. That would be sick. Let me know by dropping a like on this video. Now we need to talk about this crazy angler fish in here because he is a lunatic. When I tell you he's a lunatic, he's a lunatic. But first, you guys got to check out the fish we got. We just got these fish in the last video and they are just doing amazing. They are doing so good. I absolutely love these guys. Feed them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then guess what it's time for? Lunch. Pop open the cap here. They absolutely love these things. Little micro pellets. Watch this. They go ham in here. Give it a little dunk. Make sure they sink. Sprinkle it in. Now watch these guys go crazy. Give them a second. Here comes the firefish. Absolute beast eating like a champ already. Here comes the tang. He's scared of the camera. Everybody's scared of the camera still. Usually when I'm feeding them without the camera, they go nuts. The uh, cleaner wrasse. Here comes the angel. Here comes the angel. He's fired up about it. He's fired up the tang. Everybody doing really, really well in here. The hermit crab is being a little beast, like a weirdo. The shrimp are going nuts. The shrimp, the starfish, we got the red dragonette. We got everything in here absolutely thriving, doing so well, and I am just loving this tank. I'm having an absolute blast filming with these tanks here. Not to mention, this tank is so underrated. That thing is so cool. <laughs> that is absolutely one of the coolest tanks. So underrated. Everyone likes the purple tanks and stuff, but you can't forget about this guy. That guy is so cool. He's very scared right now, but once I start feeding him maybe uh, some, what do they call it, that seaweed, he will really, really come near the glass and we can all, we can see him all eat with that seaweed. But that thing is absolutely thriving. Now I have been having a blast with these tanks. I don't know what it is. Like we had to change it up because of the ponds and stuff. So we had to get some tanks because the ponds are, they're coming back soon, very, very soon. Within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have our ponds back. But I'm just having a blast with these tanks. We're definitely gonna need to set up some more so we can have a different variety of kind of styles of, of tanks. We can do a community tank. We can do, you know, a predatory tank. We can do one with some mantis shrimp or anglers like this one. We, are, I'm just having an absolute blast with these tanks. So that tank room, Fish Guy Chris tank room, may be coming soon. Now, in terms of the angler fish, you guys know when I scooped him up, I put him in this tank. He was really, really he's super small. He's so tiny. He's so hard to see. So you guys know it's hard to find him in this tank. So like I mentioned in my last video, we have some cuttlefish eggs that I got in my last video, which are doing amazing. I'll give you guys an update on those. They're all in here, but I didn't like the salinity. I talked about it in the last video. I didn't like the salinity of this tank. It was a couple points off. So I moved them into this tank just to do a quick, you know, water change on this, make sure they were perfect. And when I put them back, Tiny Tim was inside of this. He was inside of this. And I got to show you where he is because I think he's stalking these eggs and waiting for them to hatch so we can eat them all. So we got to get this guy out of here ASAP, but that also gives us a slight opportunity to try to feed him in this little basket so we can see him eat. So we got to do this quick because I want him out of here. Here is the tank. I had an absolute mess and one of the rocks fell so we're gonna have to fix the gorilla structure because now it's a headless gorilla he's just got a body and his head's right there so we're gonna have to fix that tank very soon but as you can see the cuttlefish eggs are in here the flow is perfect they look so ready and one of the eggs you can actually see the cuttlefish i'm gonna show you he's moving around in there he's that clear egg in the back 
Try to get some light on him. See if you guys can see him swimming around in there. Kind of hard to see with the angle here with, of the light. Like that right there is pretty good. But he's that little white speck in the back right. I just saw him moving around. You can see a little bit of movement in that uh, egg. That is the cuttlefish. You can see his tentacles on the bottom there. Trying to hold it as, as still as possible. But you can see that little cuttlefish inside of that egg. So the eggs are doing very, very well. They're going along their stages. I'm not bothering them. I'm leaving them in here. But the problem is Tiny Tim has entered the chat. Now I'm going to show you guys where Tiny Tim is right now. It's going to blow your mind. This thing is just, he, he's a menace to society. He needs to be put into a different tank. This guy, got to be careful with the eggs. I'm just going to slowly move them over. He is underneath this batch of eggs waiting for them to hatch. I don't know if you can see that little yellow right there. That is Tiny Tim hiding in the eggs. Oh, there's the cuttlefish. Look at him. Hold on. He's going to swim back. He's on the top there. That's the cuttlefish. That's so sick, dude. So we have little baby cuttlefish that hopefully are going to hatch soon. And Tiny Tim is right there. Look at him. Look at him. He's disguised in the eggs. You see him? That little speck right there. That's a little bit discolored, a little slightly yellow. That right there is Tim, the anglerfish, hiding inside of the eggs. Hiding inside of the eggs. So that is absolutely crazy. Now, I do have a couple theories as to why he's in those eggs. One, obviously, he wants to eat our cuttlefish that he knows are going to hatch out of this eggs, which, you know, is a possibility. But is he that smart? I don't know. The other possibility is he's a sargasm anglerfish. So they like to hang on to structure, be in like, you know, a floating piece of seaweed and stuff like that. That's why he gravitated towards these eggs immediately. They were in this tank for about five minutes, he immediately gravitated towards that piece of floating debris, which happens to be a little, you know, bundle of cuttlefish eggs, which is absolutely crazy. But this gives us the opportunity to feed Tiny Tim inside that little basket with some fish that we're about to catch. Now, I just spent some time looking around my dock because I was originally wanting to get him glass minnows. But as I was throwing the net, scooping up the net a bunch of times, I even chummed up with some bread, fed all the fish around here. There is just no glass minnows around here. No matter how much bread I threw in there, you know how many times I threw the cast net, I could not catch any of the small glass minnows. They're just gone. They're not in the area. I was throwing the net like crazy, but didn't get Get a single one. I did get a little baby sand perch, but that's just a little bit too big for Tiny Tim to eat. So we're gonna have to move onto the fresh water in order to catch these fish. And we're going to a new spot today. All you need is a net and a bucket. That's what we got here, a net and a bucket. That's all you need. We're going to a new spot. This is a different kind of lake. We've never been to on the channel before. I've been here in the past fishing like for bass and stuff and big, there's some big fish in this lake. So we're rocking with a net and a bucket. Little suspect water, but there is a ton of minnows. We can't get the glass minnows. The saltwater minnows can't get them. We're gonna have to go fresh water and get the smallest ones we can possibly find. All right, ladies and gents, we got our bucket, we got our net. We are gonna scoop up right over here. I already see little minnows flickering. We're gonna be in and out here in like five minutes. We're gonna catch as many fish as possible in about two minutes. Oh my God, there's like spiders on the water. That's really sus. Couple scoops right behind, right by this tunnel. There is gators in here, dude, I'm serious. Yep, we got minnows already. Jack just fell, almost fell into a hole. Jack just <laughs> fell into a hole. All right, let me scoop some of these guys up for you here. This is, these are perfect. These are perfect, dude. These are microscopic minnows, dude. I'm gonna just net as many as I can, and we're gonna look at them at the end. All right, in and out, and that's it. I think we've got plenty as we need. I swiped it about 10 to 15 times. You guys can see in the bucket, we've got some decent minners in there. Some decent minners. I didn't need to use too much water because I don't want to carry the bucket all the way to the car. But this guy is probably the biggest fish we have in there. Super tiny minnow, and the anglerfish could probably definitely eat this fish, but we have such small ones in there that we have an entire bucket full to feed Tiny Tim. Now let's go see if he wants to eat. All right, we made it back home with our minnows, and we are going to attempt to feed the infamous Tiny Tim, the wild anglerfish that we caught and we put in this tank, who's living with our cuttlefish, waiting to eat them all. We are gonna try to feed him these minnows right here. I got a lot of really, really small ones. So I'm gonna do like a big, nice mix. I don't know if he's gonna eat. We shall see. He hasn't eaten in a couple, uh, he hasn't eaten in about a week because the day I scooped him up was the day he ate. So he's been hiding since then and has been hiding with the cuttlefish ever since. So we're gonna try to feed this guy. I'm not sure if he's gonna eat, but whew, let's hope that he's gonna eat. And I think the best way to, for you to view it is not through the side, but through the top with this light, like this. I don't know. I'm gonna, we're gonna try to do both angles, but could be really cool like that. Or you know what I could do is get the GoPro and stick it in the water. That's a good idea. It's king of the castle, king <laughs> of the castle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh la la. King in the castle, king in the castle. I have a chair, I have a chair. <laughs> it's the king of the castle, he runs the show here. So I'm gonna attempt to put the GoPro, which has no SD card. Never mind. Would have been really cool to see that, but 
We are gonna go straight camera, straight, straight camera. Now I know you guys love Tiny Tim. He's literally this big, but he's a menace. The next tank we do set up, if we do set up a tank very soon, if I get one similar to this or something like that, I mean, maybe even in this tank, a big anglerfish would be really cool. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know by dropping a like on the video and co or comment down below a cool, really cool predator you'd wanna see in here because right now all we have is cuttlefish eggs and tiny tim. We're gonna see what ha happens with the cuttlefish eggs, see if we can grow them out, but first they gotta hatch. So cross your fingers that they do hatch. But let's try to feed Mr. Tiny Tim some minnows. All right, Mr. Minnows, I'm gonna scoop up like a lot or no? I'm gonna scoop up, yeah, a good mix, a good mix. Here they go, they're gonna go in the tank now. There they are, nice quality minnows. We're gonna put them in. One, one is on the ground, I think. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's see what happens when we put some in. They're in the basket and let's see if he's gonna come out of hiding for those. I don't want them to get out of this, so I'm gonna kind of move it up a little bit, so bear with me here. But I think Tiny Tim knows that there's fish in here because he's already swimming. You can see him right there in the corner, right? He is right there in the corner as soon as I put fish in the water, he's out and about ready to go. Look at him right there in the corner. Tiny Tim stalking his prey. He is right, look at him, he's on it, he's on it. Can you see it good? How's my light? He's on it, oh, he just ate a freaking minnow. No way, he just ate a minnow. Don't worry, he's gonna eat more. That is crazy, that's crazy. He just ate a minnow on camera. Well, hopefully it was good enough, but you know, Fish Guy hacks behind the camera, so he should be worried. All right, here he comes, he's moving. Fish Guy Chris is on the camera now, so I'm really focused, I'm dialed. He's really gonna stalk his prey right now. Just be ready for this. This thing is a savage. I think we should put some more minnows in there, maybe. He likes the ones that are down below on the bottom, see? Like these guys right here is what he was eating. Look at Tiny Tim being a savage in there. He's definitely not gonna stay in here because if that was my cuttlefish, he would have eaten them. Jack's putting more minnows in. Camera Guy just blew, blew it. <laughs> Did you put them in? Yeah, they're in, they're in, they're in. Look, the minnows know, and they're staying on the other side. Tiny Tim's gotta be moving here. Oh. Oh, he's gonna crawl there. He's gonna crawl there. That was such a cool eat. Our pet anglerfish eats like a beast. It's very exciting news. How's, how's this from the side? Yeah, from the side we got, you know, the eggs blocking us. So this is our only way is from the up top. He's not gonna go. He's, a, he's, a, he's an ambush predator. He's gonna wait for these minnows to go near him. Here he goes, he's crawling. He's crawling. He's about to pounce. Here he goes, here he goes. Tiny Tim's on the move. He's staying in disguise behind that cuttlefish egg and here he goes. Down the half field line, he's slowly inching towards that minnow. Crawling on top of the cuttlefish egg. Being a beast. Look at him. He's looking right at the camera. All he needs is a minnow to swim right by him and he's going to pounce. Look, they're all staying. They're all, all going top water. They're all going top water minnows. They're all going top water minnows. We gotta get these minnows down, down below. Look at that cuttlefish though in the egg right next to Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim's pushing the cuttlefish egg around. Come on, Tim. He does want it. He wants it bad. He wants it bad. Put the rest of the damn minnows in here. New set of minnows going in by a fish guy hack. We got plenty of minnows in this in this little container here. Plenty. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. He sees one. It escaped the cage, I think. Come on, Tim. Oh my god. He's looking at it. Did you see him moving his head around? He's staring right at it. Look at this little demon. That fish is a little demon, bro. These minnows are going top water. He did want that here one. Go, I almost go. missed it. Go, Tim. Oh my Go, Tim. Go, Tim. This minnow in the middle of the screen is ruining oh! it for us. He almost got that one. Get this guy out of here. Get this guy out of here. That minnow's ruining it for us. Dude, he's smart. Oh! No! Did he just get that? No, he didn't. He, he missed? He missed. Are you sure? Yeah. No, I think he got it, bro. No, I think he missed. He's still going. Here he goes, here he goes. Hunting, hunting for food. This is national. This is Nat Geo shit right here. Oh, he wants that one under. I know. He's looking at that one, at that one under. He wants it bad. Look at him. Slowly crawling. Slowly stalking. He's acting like a piece of egg. He's acting like a, I'm just a leaf, bro. Nothing. There's one right next to him. He's going to get him. Come on, Tim. Oh, <gasps> Tim's putting on the freaking wheels. What do you got for me, Tim? Is there any minnows around him? Oh my God, corner him, corner him, Tim. You got this, you're just a leaf. They're, they know, the minnows know. That one's big, dude. That one's big, is he gonna get yeah. Oh! Did he get him? Yeah. That was insane! That Let's was go! Insane. Let's go, Tim for the win! Tiny Tim is a psycho! He's a, he's a natural born killer. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, right there, we have to remove Tiny Tim from this tank. He cannot be in the same tank as my cuttlefish eggs or else he will eat the cuttlefish. So thank God I actually found him in this uh, little container here because he would have lived in that until they hatched and we, he would have ambushed them. What an absolute savage of a little fish. I actually love that thing. He is such a tank. Like you wanna talk about a tank of a fish? Anglerfish are just dogs. I mean, just dogs. I wish I could like sink this one down to him. Oh, oh, I just sunk one down. Too far away for him. That's incredible. Just incredible. I think he's full. He got a big one. Tim got a big old piece of uh, of fish there. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move him into the big tank because he cannot be with our cuttlefish eggs. Just so you guys see it on camera, we are moving Tim away from the cuttlefish and into that tank in his own little container so we can keep track of him. We got our little wibbly. <laughs> we got our little isolation tank here for Tim. Back into his regular corner. 
keep them in here. This is where I want them to be. We have our isolation tan that I just got, and the good thing about this one is it's clear so you can see it eat a lot better. We're gonna take all this out. All we need is the lid. Boom. Now we're gonna leave it in here until we find them either a new tank or uh, you know, we get big enough we can do it somewhere else or something like that. So that's what we're gonna do for now. And by the way, the reason why this light is off is because Mishka Jack took my power pit for something else. I only have one, so every time I have to do it, I have to switch it over. But anyways, the minnows have escaped, and they're all throughout the tank, which is great. We're gonna get Tim out. All right, Tim. Dude, he is so smart. He's so smart. He goes by the eggs. He goes right in the middle of the eggs. Yeah. Yeah. He's, it's a problem. It's a problem. He's so smart. He's wicked. Tim is so wicked. As the woman on TikTok says, you're done. You're done. So here we go. Tim, come with me. This fish might be the smartest fish I've ever got. Calm down, Tim. You're gonna freak yourself out. You just ate. He's so cool, dude. I love Tim. You see that for me, the fish? Same exact salinity. Same Tim. Tim, now we need to see him through the side. Guys, I'm about to feed him. We need to feed him in this container. Look at Tim. Oh, he's, he's so sick. sick. He's so sick. Guys, my mic was not on me that entire time. It was all the way over there. So I'm pissed about that. As I was trying to say, I am so pumped about Tim in this container. He's so sick. I'm so happy that we get to actually see him like in a clear glass container. It's way better than what he was in before through that styrofoam. I mean, just look at him with the light. He just looks amazing. He just looks so cool. You can tell he's got a minnow in his belly right there. He's got a full minnow in his belly. He's got good water flow right here. We're gonna put the lid on it and he's gonna stay in this container now that we finally separated the two of them, he was really wanting to stay with those cuttlefish. But I think that's because also there was like that structure. He likes that structure. So I'm going to get him a nice piece of seaweed and throw it in there and he can vibe with that seaweed. That's what we're going to do for him. Tim is the absolute man. Let's put some minnows for him in here too. We're going to give him a parting gift from his cuttlefish. Just get him all the rest of these minnows in this tank because they're better served in Tim's belly than in the saltwater tank. I don't even know how they're alive in there. Freshwater minnows. We got a couple minnows for Tim. He can munch on those as he pleases. He's got a lot now. He's got he's got pickings now, dude. He's got absolute pickings to go ham in there. And it's perfect. It's, it's all worked out. It honestly was for the better that he went to the cuttlefish because then we were actually able to see him, capture him, move him to the right area. And it's just all in all, it just worked out great. Tim is the best. All right, check out what I have for Tim. As you guys know, this was in my old saltwater pond and it's the only thing I have that kind of resembles some sort of seaweed and I want to put it in for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this in for him because he needs, he's a sargasm frogfish, dude. He's a sargasm angler. He likes to be with that sargasm. So we're going to drop a piece in for him and he can just hang on to that and float around with that. I guarantee, you know, if we give him time, he's going to be grabbing onto that very soon, even though you can barely see it, it's going to float. But he will grab onto that once he uh, gets comfortable in his new little tank here. There he is. There's Tim and there's your little piece of seaweed. That's the best I can do for you for now until I get you the real thing. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Epic video. We got to capture Tim eating on camera. I love Tim. Drop a like for Tim. Subscribe for Tim. Make sure your notification bells are on for Tim and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.